market for a minivan, you're probably looking at one of the four best sellers, Toyota Sienna, Honda Odyssey, Chrysler Town & Country, and Dodge Grand Caravan. Kia is hoping you'll add a fifth to the list, the Sedona. For 2015, Kia has given the Sedona a fresh set of lines and a revamped set of features. Is that enough to make it a good alternative to the big four? Hi, I'm Joel Feder with The Car Connection, and I'll tell you all about it in our latest video road test of the 2015 Kia Sedona. Minivans are all about the interior, and the Sedona's cabin is downright charming. With this horizontally laid out instrument panel, two-tone color scheme, and better materials applied across all surfaces. Up front, you'll notice Kia has raised this driver's seat slightly for somewhat better visibility. In the second row, most Sedonas get what Kia calls slide and stow. It's a middle row seat system that can slide forward and flip upright to allow especially low level floor without the need to remove seats. It's not as versatile as Chrysler Stone Go, but it makes for a big cargo space when you need one. The top Sedona SXL drops that second row slide and stow seating for this first class lounge seating with extendable leg rests and adjustable winglets on the headrest. These seats can be moved side to side to make a wider path to the back row, but they can't be removed. This third row is a little small for teenagers and adults, unlike the Honda Odyssey and Toyota Sienna. Small kids will be just fine, and it folds 60-40 and flat into the floor. Kia has taken the time to upgrade the Sedona's features for a new minivan generation. The smart key fob opens the hatch when the key is near the rear end for about three seconds. There's a cooled glove box, power ports, and USB ports too along with Bluetooth streaming and Kia's Uvo smartphone connectivity interface. From the outside, the Sedona takes no risk when it comes to styling. The front end is now cleaner with Kia's family grill, which fits well with the Sedona's wide front end. There's no mistaking that minivan profile though. Under the hood of the Sedona, you'll find a 3.3 liter V6. That 276 horsepower 6 runs smoothly behind lots of layers of sound deadening. The Sedona weighs a lot, so acceleration is just adequate. Power sent to the front wheels through a smooth shifting six speed automatic transmission. The Sedona rides quietly and comfortably so long as you don't throw it into a corner. All wheel drive is not available and fuel economy rings in at 20 miles per gallon combined on most models. Kia says it's aiming for top crash scores, but no ratings are available yet. A rear view camera is available on all but the base model, but the surround cameras are fenced off in the most expensive model. The Sedona starts from just under 26,000 and comes well equipped with Bluetooth, steering wheel audio controls, and a backup warning system. Loaded up with everything from adaptive cruise control to a full leather interior and the sticker balloons to a Honda like 43,000. The sweet spot is the $32,995 Sedona EX, which comes with power sliding doors, power tailgate, eight passenger seating, push button start, and leather seats. So what's the bottom line with the 2015 Kia Sedona? It's now a fine alternative to both the Odyssey and Sienna, and it beats the Chrysler in terms of refinement. But ultimately, it falls a bit short on terms of flexibility. Be sure to read our full review on the car connection and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I'm Joel Fetter. Thanks for watching.